everyone welcome to the channel so in this video i'm going to show you how to use a python tracer for field calculation in rgis pro so now let's get started and now let's start using our python phrase for field calculation so now right click on this layer called countries and in that click this option called attribute table and make sure that you go through our previous video videos for uh, rgis pro pythons so now we have opened our attribute table for the layer called countries so now if i slide along this uh, we could like to find a field called uh, gdp underscore md underscore uh, est so let me find that field and now i have find the field called uh, gdp md uh, est so this is the field uh, which is required and this uh, field holds a gross domestic product for each country with the values estimated in millions in us dollars so now uh, i'd like to get an estimate of this gdp per person in each country and to store that in the field so that is nicely uh, formatted so and now i could like to add a new field so uh, for that we're going to click this option called add field and now here i could like to enter the field name as gdpp underscore text so here gdp refers to gross domestic product and now once you have entered your field name we're going to select our data types so double click to select the data type and now let me select the text as my data type and uh, in the length let me enter as 50 and now i have entered the length as 50 and the data type as text so once you did that we're gonna uh, click this option called save and now let me close this and here let me show you the new field that we have created so we have created a new field called gdpp underscore text and now let me right click on this field and uh, let me select this option called calculate field and now a window uh, pops up saying calculate field and here when uh, the calculate field dialog opens we can see that the expression is set to uh, python 3 so which is what we required and uh, underneath the the equal sign here so i'm going to provide a function name which uh, i will call uh, set underscore uh, text and i'm going to field feed uh, the values from two fields separated by a comma into a into uh, that function and now let me enter as text set uh, underscore text function and now uh, to put the we're going to put the field names in between the into this function between the brackets here so now uh, navigate to this field uh, section here in that we're going to select uh, pop est that is population estimate so let me find that and now here you can able to visualize the population est here so double click to add into our add our field into the section and we're going to add a comma here and next we're going to uh, add this field called gdp md est so double click to add this and now uh, notice how the uh, the fields names are delimited by excl exclamation marks so now uh, in the code block uh, i will write a function that receives uh, those values here in code block so here i have uh, i've given in def set uh, underscore text pop comma gdp and now you can also see that i also provided two variable names called uh, pop and gdp to use within it as uh, each feature gets processed uh, the there is the values from the field pop underscore est gets placed into the uh, variable called pop and similarly the values from the gdp md est uh, gets placed uh, get placed into the variable called gdp and now i want to set the variable name text to be uh, a gdp multiplied by 1 million and divided by population so with that results the cast as a string and but uh, i also know that the both the population and uh, gdp fields hold some values uh, of zeros so and to avoid any uh, any divide by uh, zero errors 
on those features and to mark any countries that appears to have a, a population of zero of yes I will uh, test for a zero values using an uh, if statement and also write out the GDP and not calculable in a string for them and now have uh, entered as if pop double equals to zero or the GDP double equals to zero the text equals to GDP not calculable or else the text equals to string GDP into 1 million divided by population it refers to this particular variable this particular field here population EST is referring to this pop so when the last line of code is to return the value of a text as a field gets calculated and now uh, I will click apply to perform the calculation and now let me click this option called apply and now let me some make some changes here and now click apply so it is running here and now our, uh, we have our result here and now uh, I could like to format uh, my text more nicely so for that so uh, I will replace that string function with some string formatting that includes uh, using the in function to convert those floating point numbers into an integers and the colon, colon uh, comma sin syntax we saw in the label the label uh, expression uh, video in, uh, in our previous uh, video we have seen uh, so in our previous video called uh, attractive uh, label expression using uh, python in rgis pro to make the numbers in uh, in the thousands more readable so now uh, we're gonna navigate this line of code here Now let me add another bracket here, close bracket. And between the double quotes, we're gonna enter our field name. And now I will click apply here. And we're going to visualize the result here so now we can able to clearly able to visualize it and uh, we can see that a values uh, which have been written and to use uh, the field to label the countries so for that we have to uh, navigate to our uh, labeling uh, option here now let me place this uh, here somewhere so now go to this uh, layer called countries so right click in that we're going to select this option called labeling properties and now let me uncheck this uh, tick in the advance let me remove this so now uh, I will replace the expression with uh, GD uh, GDP that is GD triple P underscore text field now let me remove this remove this and now we have to navigate to this field option here so in that we're gonna select our GD triple P underscore text now double click to add and now to view our uh, this field called uh, GD triple P underscore text so we can apply here so you can visualize the result here so now you can able to see that so uh, if you want to apply the bolding to those uh, US dollars values then uh, as an alternative uh, to using the formatting within the label expression we can include the formatting tag within our field values so for that we're gonna move to this calculate uh, field window so here in that let me expand this and navigate to this line of code here and here we're gonna enter as And now let us visualize the result so clear let me click this option apply 
and yeah you can able to visualize uh, our US dollars are being bold and here you can able to visualize the formatting within the field values is automatically uh, reflected in the labels uh, from that field and now uh, we know how to use the python tracer to calculate the field values uh, in a feature class and also uh, to use those calculated fields for labeling features so in this video i have shown you how to use a python uh, phraser for field calculation in rgis pro so thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel and give us a like